Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we are almost a month away from the exam and I am here to talk about a last month strategy, what you can do to improve your marks, what are the things that you can avoid in these days. So let's discuss about that. Before starting into it or before getting into the topic, let me just tell you a few things that these days, the remaining 20-25 days are very crucial for the exam point of view. This is not your degree exam, this is not your individual exam or your college exam. This is a competitive exam where everyone is trying their best and trying to find a place and others performance is also going to affect your score or your rank, right? So you have to take it seriously. If you are not serious enough for it, others might take your place, okay? So you have to be serious, you have to be confident and you have to be consistent with it, okay? So having said that, the first thing which you have to do in the remaining days, whatever you have done till now, whatever has been your strategy or whatever you have been doing till now for the preparation, leaving that aside, one thing which you have to definitely do is be consistent for the remaining days. Now consistency means not only like that you have to study consistently, but whatever you are doing, let's say if you are understanding the concept or if you are studying the concepts and trying to understand it in detail that you have to do consistently daily till the exam approaches then you if you are solving questions do that consistently if you are trying to you know solve previous years question if you are trying to give mock tests whatever you are trying to do please do all these things consistently because this consistency is not only going to help you to you know clear up this exam or to give you a, a time or to give you a kind of feeling that yes you are preparing for the exam will definitely prepare for this, uh, for this exam but it will also going to train you for the other coming exams like you will be having gate exam in next six seven months you will be having next CSR net exam in case if you want to give the next gate exam then this consistency is going to help you over there as well so you have to be consistent for it right the next thing which you should definitely do is start solving previous years questions so Whatever you are doing till now, if you are solving previous years question along with your preparation, I mean, if you are preparing a certain topic and you are solving questions related to that, really good, very nice. But in case if you are avoiding to solve previous years question or if you are, uh, if you have avoided till now to solve question and you are just studying the concept, you are just going, getting into the depth of the concept. So now is the time when you should start solving questions. And when you start solving question, apart from any other thing, whatever is there, like new questions and uh, the questions on the back of the chapter or in the book or, or anything before attempting any such thing you have to solve previous years question and there are plenty of previous years questions which are now you have like starting from csr june 2011 to csr december 2023 there are so many question papers around 2025 20, question papers which, which you have and you have to solve them at least try to do at least 10 to 15 previous years questions so that you get to know that what is the approach of the examiner, how the examiner asks question. This is going to give you a direct idea that a certain topic, for example, if you have studied electrochemistry, so what type of questions are asked from electrochemistry? What is the way in which the examiner can ask a simple concept of, let's say, conductivity in a different manner or in a, in a different way that you can get to know from by solving previous year's question. And that is definitely very important. So in case if you are like wondering from where you are going to get these previous years questions. So we have already launched our ebook on previous years question, which is available on our website. So the link is there on the description of this video. Also in the pinned comment, you can check out over there. So we have uh, like we have separated the questions of all the previous years from June 2011 to CSR December 2003 into chapter wise. And you can go ahead, purchase that ebook and you can solve the questions from the topic wise. I mean. If you want to just solve electrochemistry question, the questions are segregated over there, chemical kinetics, not only physical chemistry, but organic and inorganic are also segregated over there. So many students have purchased it. If you also want to get it, you can purchase it from our website. Moving ahead to the next point, which is actually related to the previous point. So now you have to fill up the gaps in your preparation. Now, when you prepare a certain topic or when you prepare for the exam, your preparation does not go like a gradient. It does not go like smooth. Okay you definitely miss out certain things. For example, if I just give you example of electrochemistry. So uh, when you are, uh, when, you, when you have studied electrochemistry, you, you might have studied it in full or you might have studied every topic of it, but there could have been some small topic or something which you might have, you know, uh, just ignored or you might, it might not be in your notes, okay? So that is the next thing. And uh, if you have left those topics, how you will get to know? 
by solving previous year's question or by solving more and more questions. So when you will be solving question, you will get to know that let's say you found a question from ionic strength and it is something different from what you have studied or the concept is little different from what you have studied. So now you have to go back and you have to read that topic uh, or you understand that concept so that you fill up those gaps in your preparation and in that way your preparation will be rock solid for that particular topic. So this is called as filling like that's what I call it that filling the gap in your preparation. So these day, days are going to be really crucial for filling up those gaps because till now you have I guess you have already studied the topic from the overview point of view. I mean you have just studied the overall topic but still the remaining gaps that you have to fill in these days. Next point is related to solving new question and finding new questions to solve. Now these new questions or these challenging questions are going to help you to understand the concept and to let you know that not only from the previous year's point of view but if some new type of question is asked in exam whether you will be able to do it or not. So where you will find these new questions. So if you were preparing or if you have re read some books or if you have referred some book for your preparation then you might already get that particular uh, like in the back of that chapter you might be getting questions related to that. But in case if you have not done that till now so I will recommend you to get to your books find out the pre like back questions I mean the, the questions at the back of the book and try to solve them. Now the thing is that uh, I always recommend to read books. I always recommend to study or prepare from books. But over the period of time, I have seen that like the approach from the student point of view for the exam is like from the book reading has been decreased. And like there is a lot of reasons behind it. I'm not going to get into that. But the thing is that if you have not read book and now if you are thinking that I will go and read book and try to understand the concept, I will stop you from there because you don't have enough time now. You should not go and read books now. I will not recommend for that, okay? Because reading books takes time and in these 20 days, you might not be able to finish the things and you will get frustrated after that and that is going to affect your exam. So don't read books now, okay? You don't have to read books now. If you have not read till now, no problem. Just go ahead with whatever, whatever notes or whatever strategy you have made till now. Go ahead with that and give your exam don't go and read books now okay this is really really important the next thing is regarding general aptitude now general aptitude part is very important for the exam point of view i have been advocating about it since long and uh, if you see the 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 uh, weightage of this particular topic so it carries 30 marks for your exam okay so there are 20 questions out of which 15 you have to do and each question is of two marks so you are going to get 30 marks out of 200 in this particular part and often I have seen that students simply ignore this topic or they simply don't study general aptitude. They are more focused on their chemistry or their subject related thing. And your subject is of 170 marks. So that's fine. You can just go ahead with that. But the thing is that you have to, you if you want to get some extra marks, if you want to, you know, get some extra marks from this general aptitude part, you should definitely try that because that part is a part of your exam that is given in the exam to test your aptitude to give you some extra marks from there and if you are ignoring that you are just simply you know uh, you are just simply reducing the chances of getting good score so you can prepare for general aptitude part not everything but slowly steadily daily you have to study a little bit and little bit and you can I, by the end of this month or by the end of the exam when the exam approaches you will be having a lot of information about general aptitude it's not difficult first of all okay general aptitude is very simple I have launched a course on general aptitude if you want you can take that course also in that course we have uh, like previous 10 question papers of CSR net and general aptitude part of those CSR net questions and also we have some extra questions from topic wise I mean like data interpretation gen uh, geometry then we have topics like arithmetics then we have topics like probability and uh, uh, we have topics like permutation combination simple interest so all these topics we have given around 50 50 questions per topic so if you get that course the link is there in the description of this video also in the pinned comment so you can buy that particular course the amount is kept very minimal it is just 350 rupees so that it reaches all of you and it is not heavy on your pocket so get that course try to solve those questions try to at least study each topic a day and by the end of the month or by the end of the exam okay by the end of the time when the exam will approach you will be having enough knowledge of general aptitude and probably that is going to reflect in your marks as well so if not 30 marks if you are getting 20 plus marks in general aptitude that is really good okay 
so try to uh, utilize now certain time you have to because i said these days are crucial you should be you should give some extra time for general aptitude apart from your subject whatever time you are giving for your subject just keep giving that just take out one extra hour for general aptitude and that will be enough okay daily one hour of general aptitude i believe that will be more than enough for the exam point of view going to the last topic okay then last thing the last point which you should focus on is mock test so now is the time when you should start giving mock test if you have not given unfortunately we don't have a mock test from our side till now like for this particular cycle of exam hopefully we will be launching it for the next cycle but for now we don't have mock test so uh, like how do you get or which mock test is good because many student ask me sir should i take this particular mock test or should i take that particular mock test see there are many a lot of plenty of mock tests which are available actually but you have to like just to segregate that which mock test is best for you i will give you three points okay just focus on three points just see whether that mock test fulfills these three points or not point number one that the mock test should also have new questions it should not only have previous year's questions because i have seen many mock tests they just uh, repeat the previous year's question or they just change the values of previous year's questions that is not good okay you should get new questions also for the mock test point of view so you should be having new questions for the mock test uh, so your mock test should contain new questions the second thing is that the difficulty level of the question should not be very high and it should not be very low it should be mixture of both types of questions hard and easy questions because if the difficulty level is too high then that is going to just affect your morale because you won't be able to score good marks in mock test and then you will think that i have not prepared well and that thing is going to affect the exam okay your confidence will go down so don't let that happen and if it is too easy then you must you will get overconfident and you will be thinking that i am well prepared for exam that should also not happen okay so yeah the exam uh, the question level of mock test should be averaged out difficult and easy both mixture of both of them and the third thing is that it should have a interface of like exam point of view i mean the exam like interface that is really important because you are going to sit for exam which is conducted in cbt mode computer based test mode and for that mode you should be prepared also so when you sit for these type of mock tests they these type of mock tests actually give you an idea or um, a exam like of interface which basically helps you to mimic exam kind of condition exam like condition and uh, that eventually prepare you for the exam in a better way okay so you will be able to see how you are managing the time you will be able to see how you are focusing on a particular portion so all these things are going to be covered up if you are giving that test or if you are giving these mock tests uh, in which are in the cbt mode which are having similar interface as the exam has so these are certain points which i thought of sharing with you and i believe that if you follow these things and if you uh, like if you are careful about these points that is going to reflect in your in your score for the exam i'll come up again uh, when the exam will be quite near and that time i will tell you that how you can approach the exam because now i have just discussed that how you can utilize the remaining days but that time i will talk about that how you can actually approach the exam and what is the best way to approach the exam and how you can maximize the marks over there okay so that's it from my side for this particular video if you have any suggestion if you have any request you can drop that down in the comment section below all the important links which i have discussed in the video are there in the description of this video also they are in the pinned comment so you can check out those links and uh, that's it from my side thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye take care and all the best for your preparation take care